Well, hello, friends. Welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this Thrifty Thursday, I have something super thrifty for you, because what is thriftier than free, right? <laughs> okay, so um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, <laughs> uh, but uh, I didn't really have a lot for this uh, thrifted uh, week, so I thought I would do this. Um, I wanted to share with you some of the haul, I mean like rubbish, trash, things that should have been thrown out um, or that most people would probably throw out. Maybe even you would throw some of these things out, even though I know we are kindred spirits. Um, but I just wanted to share with you the things that I've kept. Now, some of these might eventually, if I end up collecting too much and not using it, end up going into the trash. But I always like to give it a second chance and put it in my crafty stash. Okay, without further ado, um, uh, first let me go through these. So this is what we use for salads. We buy this, and I know it's not as cost effective because it's cheaper to buy your actual, you know, heads of lettuce and things like that but this is just so convenient for us and since we're both working now <laughs> um it's just faster to do it this way and it's not really that that bad uh so yeah we buy our salad in these boxes and as you can see one of them was already used to hold some of my handmade things that, that um i've made and um I've taken them since out of there because I'm putting them somewhere else. But these are the tops. No, normally they can open up like that. You don't have to remove the whole top, but I've removed the tops. And then these stickers on the top, you can also remove, but as you can see, I have not removed all of them. Okay, this one I did remove because I had something specific, a specific purpose for this. And these really, um, which I will be coming back for. Right now, I just wanted to share with you. Here's another piece of packaging. Okay, so what do what would I use this for? First of all, I can use it for storage. Now, this is flimsy, so it's not like, you know, stacking a bunch of these is not like stacking a bunch of, like, shoe boxes or, you know, the containers that you get. But um, they're nice maybe for, like, organizing, um, sorting things, and what have you. Um, but I have used them to actually store things in for a while. I just wanted to, you know, let you know they're not sturdy because they're, you know, um, they're kind of flimsy. So not totally flimsy. I mean, it'll hold some weight, but, you know, you just got to watch that. And then there's this thinner one here. Okay. But I actually have another um, idea that I'm going to uh, use these um, these piece of pieces of plastic for. That will come in another video. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited about that. So another thing that um, I thought I could use these for is, you know, cut up um, sections of it and use them in organizing, like making separators or dividers for my um, other containers, you know. So that was an idea. I haven't done that yet, but that's another thing that I thought I could do with these. So anyway, I have several ideas of what to do with this stuff. And that will be an upcoming video. So hopefully you will be interested enough to, to watch that. All right. So that's one of the things I've kept is some of those boxes. Uh, of course, you can never, never <laughs> um, underestimate the value of a um, nice shoe box. My husband bought me some um hiking hiking boots for uh you know to try to get me to <laughs> do a lot more exercise and um yeah it, it's you know we're getting there <laughs> but anyway this was the box that it came in and of course any kind of boots or athletic shoes come in nice sturdy boxes so first of all the color i love it it's blue beautiful and it's already nice as it is but i can cover up this branding and stuff if i want to i have not yet i can remove this tape uh, which I haven't done yet, you know, just decorate it as it is. Or if I wanted to, I could cut this down and use for cardstock because it's nice and thick. Would be would make nice covers for journals and what have you. But for now, I'm using it to store my other junk. <laughs> All right. So the next thing uh, I have in here is what is this? It this is the the cereal bag. So when you buy your cereal. Uh, and it comes in boxes. This box didn't fit inside here. So this is one of the cereals we recently got. Okay. You know your cereal doesn't come just in the box, right? It comes inside a bag. So those bags are awesome for, um, first of all, you can just use them as backgrounds. 
uh, and what I mean, not backgrounds, but just, you know, something to, to work on so that you don't mess up your uh, table or whatever. But these make also really nice glassine bags. I have made little DIY glassine bags out of this before. And um, I had stopped saving this just because, well, actually my husband was getting to it before me. It went in the trash, but <laughs> I saved this one. So uh, that will be... Uh, another video of me sharing how I make my glassine bags. Now, I've done a video a long time ago. I mean, I want to say like a year or more ago, maybe even two, uh, making the glassine bags. If I can find it, I will link it. But I figured it was about time to try to do, do another one and do more, more of it. This is just a, a little bag that I don't know what... Maybe this was one of the thrift store bags, but recently I did a video where I used those vegetable bags uh, to fuse papers junk papers to reuse so i'm gonna try that with this as well so it's just you know a plastic bag that is um, thin so i'm saving that for that purpose of course we have our paper bags and this one i've already actually used as a you know a desk covering while i did some painty papers but then the paint on top of here kind of becomes a background if i wanted to so that's why i'm saving this and um, this is from our local uh, supermarket here. And then I cut off the bottom just to make it straight. And I just kept those little pieces because this, these are nice for collage and stuff too. So that's what that is. Okay. What else? Okay, this is a piece of parchment paper that I had used as a background too. But of course, you don't want to throw it out because that, you know, little bit of paint might be nice on something. Um, of course, can never throw away your privacy envelopes, right? This is junk mail or, you know, we call bills, and, you know, official mails junk, right? <laughs> uh, but I love these because sometimes they come with big windows like this. And uh, even though that's a little turned up, it doesn't matter because I'll probably end up covering around it. And then sometimes they have two windows like that, which recently I did um, a Dear Julie Julie inspired little flip insert um and i used one of these envelopes that had the two you know two windows so i mean either way you can use them but even if you don't use it as a whole envelope you can punch out shapes out of this pretty patterned paper inside and i've done that as well in the past so i'm sure there's more in here um i also wanted to show you any kind of packaging is good. Now, um, these will probably, see if we recycled here, these would just go in the recycling bin, but unfortunately in my area they don't. So I really wanna try and save as much as possible. And these basically can just be covered for tags, cover one side. If you like the craft colored as a writing surface, leave it alone. Otherwise you could just cover it with plain paper, lined paper, whatever and then decorate the front so that it's all covered. But what I really like is the packaging. So these all have craft inside. I really like this type of packaging that is actually white inside because then you don't, all, all you have to do is cover just one of the sides, where's the, and then the back is already a journaling surface. So this I don't have to do anything with, maybe distress it if I want, and then just decorate on this side. And sometimes even these little flaps make nice little tags or, or things. Or if not, then you can throw that out. But, you know, you're throwing out a little bit versus this whole thing. So there is that. Oh, and this is one of my favorite things. This is the inside of our coffee. And, and not all coffee um, cans have this type of insert. Some of them have an insert that has like a little plasticky film on it. That one I'm not too fond of, but um, at, the, at the supermarket we have nearby, they have their brand has this, um, you know, uh, cover, I guess, that you take off before uh, using your coffee. And I love it. Let me show you. I've done a video on this before, again, a long time ago, but I love to punch images out of this. It punches so nicely. Oh, I got to show you one. Hold on. So apparently somehow I lost uh, the audio for this part of the video <laughs> and maybe uh, some of you watched it earlier without any uh, noise during this part. But anyway, here I'm just showing you the little pieces that I have uh, punched out of uh, previous lid, 
you know, uh, coffee can lids and look how cute they come out. And I was mentioning something about that you can color these. You can just paint them with Sharpies or any kind of alcohol ink and, you know, color them. And you got these little metal flowers. They're so cute. So I need to use them. I've just been keeping them in this little container, which of course is off camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, what a mess. Anyway, yeah, so I really love, love, love this. And I'm excited that our current supermarket has the cans for that. Okay, next, of course, so you have some privacy envelopes some more they come in all different types oh check this one out with the weave it almost looks like basket weave and it's just so pretty that i thought you know one of the other things that you can do with privacy envelopes is uh, something that i believe i learned from dear julie julie um she likes to take them and put the pretty side out so basically just open it up like i did and then flip it over and now you don't have to decorate it as much because the pretty side is on the outside and then you can just glue it back or put it in your book or whatever so yeah definitely privacy envelopes you know we love those we can't throw those out are you kidding look at this look at this pattern they're all different that's so cool so um oh yeah and here we go this i actually just got in the last day or so see how pretty this envelope is Discover keeps sending us, um, trying to get us to use their credit card. And um, yeah, so basically you can just cover all of the writing that's on there, embellish it or whatever. And look at this one, a pink one. And it's got almost like a vintage style pattern on it or almost like wallpaper. It's really cool. And of course, the big windows are neat too. And then some of the card that came inside was really nice and thick. So, of course, I kept that because that can be covered on both sides um, just to give, uh, you know, your project a nice space. So there you go. Here's another envelope that I'm not going to show the other side because there's a lot of information on the other side. But look how pretty it almost looks like a galaxy or a night sky. Purple. And this is just a tissue paper that came with these shoes. And, of course, I am keeping that. Uh, it does have the brand on it, but... You know, you could paint your tissue paper also and uh, use it for your projects or use it for texture. Then, uh, of course, I always keep these little, the little sleeves or the little wrapping that yarn or any kind of uh, fibers come in. Especially, look at this, these seam binding vintage ones. Aren't they cute? Those can be used as ephemera or I, I've put them in my... Uh, journals before or even in my glue books and here's a, a the box from one of the set of cards that I have thought that might be cool to use up and then these are the tags from this shoe box right here nice card and this one even has a little tab right there aren't they cute you can just cover what you don't like and you know you have like a, a base for a really nice tag right there uh, miniature tags are cute too. Any of the miniatures cute. And then uh, finally, the, the last thing in this box for now is the, these couple of boxes uh, where I'm working right now. Uh, they were throwing out these boxes. This is that uh, box that privacy envelopes come in. Yes, the company, you know, <laughs> sends out privacy envelopes too. Uh, but, you know, these are the boxes that they come in. And it, it was going in the trash, so I rescued it from the trash. But the nice thing about this is that it's a, it's almost like cereal box weight or maybe even a little stronger, it feels like. But it's all plain. See, you don't have to cover anything. It's ready to go. And uh, if you like that look, you can just use it like that. Or, of course, you can cover it anyway if you want to do that. It makes a decent-sized journal cover um, or just about anything, you know. It's a, it's a nice... A uh, piece of cardstock, you know, for bases and journals and stuff. So that is, I think that's pretty much it. Um, putting everything back in the box. I don't remember what else I was talking about or saying <laughs> originally when <laughs> I was doing this. But I hope you enjoyed this little bit of rambling about junk that probably should be tossed out with the trash, but. I'm um, going to try to give it a new life 
make it beautiful or part of a beautiful thing uh, in my crafting and junk journaling. Well, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you think I'm crazy <laughs> or if you're crazy with me and you've used some of these things yourself um, or if I gave you any ideas. I'd really like to know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very blessed day.